On October 26, 2024, Argentina broke ranks. The nation sided against the US in a historic UN vote. The issue, the decades-old US embargo on Cuba. Argentina's decision sent shockwaves through the international community. It marked the first defiance since President Javier Millet's ascent to power. The move signalled a potential realignment of Argentina's foreign policy. The vote was met with swift action from President Millet. He dismissed his foreign minister, Diana Mondino. The decision highlighted deep divisions within the Argentine government. The world now waits to see what this means for Argentina. Argentina's vote at the UN was not merely a symbolic gesture. It represented a fundamental shift in the country's approach to international relations. Under President Millet, Argentina appears to be charting a new course, one less tethered to the policies of its northern neighbour. This shift is rooted in a complex web of factors. Some point to Millet's own ideological leanings which are often at odds with those of the current U.S. administration. Others highlight Argentina's desire to assert its autonomy on the world stage, to forge its own path independent of historical alliances. The implications of this policy shift are far-reaching. A more independent Argentina could have significant ramifications for regional dynamics potentially altering the balance of power in South America. It could also lead to closer ties with countries like Cuba and Venezuela, nations long at odds with the US. However, this newfound independence comes at a price. Argentina risks alienating its long-standing ally, jeopardizing vital economic and political ties. The road ahead is fraught with uncertainty, a delicate balancing act between asserting sovereignty and maintaining crucial relationships. Diana Mondino's dismissal from her post as foreign minister was a dramatic illustration of the high tensions surrounding Argentina's foreign policy shift. The move, coming mere hours after the UN vote, sent a clear message President Millet was not willing to tolerate dissent on this issue. Mondino, a seasoned diplomat, was known for her pragmatic approach to foreign policy. Her removal signalled a potential shift towards a more ideologically driven foreign policy, one aligned with Millet's own worldview. The decision to replace Mondino with Gerardo Verthein, the then current ambassador to Washington, further fueled speculation. Was this a strategic move to appease the US, to smooth over the diplomatic rift created by the UN vote? Or did it signify a deeper commitment to Millet's vision, a belief that Argentina's foreign policy needed a complete overhaul? Only time will tell what Mondino's dismissal will mean for the future of Argentine diplomacy. However, one thing is clear. President Millet is determined to leave his mark on Argentina's place in the world. President Millet's stance on Cuba is a study in contrasts. While he voted to condemn the US embargo, he remains a vocal critic of the Cuban government. This seemingly contradictory position reflects the complex realities of navigating international relations in the 21st century. Miley's opposition to the Cuban government stems from his belief in free markets and democratic principles. He views the Cuban regime as authoritarian and economically unsustainable. His decision to condemn the US embargo, however, is rooted in a different set of principles. Miley argues that the embargo has been ineffective in achieving its stated goals. Furthermore, he believes it has caused undue hardship for the Cuban people. His stance echoes a growing sentiment within the international community that the embargo is a relic of the Cold War, a blunt instrument that has outlived its usefulness. 
This nuanced position highlights the challenges facing leaders in today's interconnected world. Maintaining ideological consistency while pursuing national interests requires a deft hand and a willingness to make difficult choices. Section 5. The Enduring Legacy of Embargo The US embargo on Cuba, first imposed in 1962, is one of the longest-running sanctions regimes in modern history. Over the decades, the embargo has evolved with periods of tightening and easing depending on the political climate. The effectiveness of the embargo has been a subject of debate for years. Despite growing international pressure to lift the embargo, the US has remained steadfast in its position. Section 6. Shockwaves on the world stage. Argentina's decision to break ranks with the US sent ripples across the international community. The move was seen as a sign of the changing geopolitical landscape. For the US, Argentina's vote was a diplomatic setback. It highlighted the limits of US influence in its own backyard. The Biden administration now faces the challenge of adapting to this new reality. Section 7 navigating the diplomatic labyrinth. In the wake of the UN vote and Mondino's dismissal, Argentina finds itself at a crossroads. The path ahead is uncertain, fraught with diplomatic pitfalls and potential opportunities. The Millet administration must now navigate a complex web of relationships. On one hand, it seeks to strengthen ties with countries that share its vision of a multipolar world, nations like China and Russia. On the other hand, it cannot afford to completely alienate the US, a crucial economic partner and security guarantor. Argentina's ability to navigate this diplomatic labyrinth will depend on a number of factors. Skillful diplomacy will be crucial as will a clear understanding of Argentina's own national interests. The Millet administration must also be prepared to withstand pressure from both sides, to resist the temptation to fall back into old patterns of alignment. The coming months and years will be a test for Argentina's foreign policy. The decisions made during this critical period will have a lasting impact on the country's place in the world. important, it should not come at the expense of Argentina's long-term interests. Section 9. A new dawn for Argentine diplomacy. Despite the risks, Argentina's bold move at the UN could also herald a new era for its foreign policy. By breaking free from traditional alignments, Argentina has the opportunity to chart a more independent and assertive course on the world stage. This new approach could lead to a more diversified set of international partnerships. Argentina could seek closer ties with countries in Asia, Africa and other parts of Latin America, 
reducing its dependence on the US. Furthermore, a more independent Argentina could become a leading voice for developing countries, championing issues like climate change, debt relief and fair trade.